I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. You want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not gonna be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys wanna know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You wanna know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Today's video takes us to Fort Worth, Texas, where we find our frauditor Carolina trying to clear security to go into the courthouse, but she's refusing, yes, that's right, refusing to cooperate with the security measures put in place. Oh, why would you do that, Carolina? Well, sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy! Ms. Rodriguez, you're going to ask I'm me? not taking my headband off. Yes, you are. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You don't make anybody else take off their headbands and stuff? No. Get me the supervisor. All you got to do is move I want it. I'm not. No, that's not all I have to do. I'm not doing it. Hey. All right. Chill out. I'm going to chill out. I got it under control. You know, it would be a lot better if you guys were kind, but you're not. Everybody should be more kind to each other, but you're not. It's just a, it's just a headband. You can wand me. Nope. This is the frauditor behind the camera. I don't know where she gets her money from because she's not making anything on her YouTube channel. She had a channel up before. I don't know if it was demonetized or what happened, but her new channel is not making any money. So I don't know. Maybe uh, she won a lawsuit somewhere along the line, inherited some money, won the lottery. I don't know. But she's not making any money on YouTube. I can guarantee you that. Got this guy right here and this guy right here. They want me to take my hair down. I'm not doing it. I spent time fixing my hair today and I'm not going to take my hair down. I mean, you guys are making this really, really difficult. All you have to, all you have to do is just want me. You're saying all I have to do is take my headband off, but all you got to do is just want me and let me go through. This is what I mean by wanting. And they have three guys at each door. One guy to hold the bucket, one guy to look at the machine, and one guy to wand. And the guy with the wand is not doing his job. When's the last time you violated someone's rights? Oh, just now! Mine! When's the last time you beat your wife? You kicked your dog? Falsified a police report? Are you working as a sheriff because you're kinking on the Fort Worth PD? Well, you see, Carolina is a well-known troublemaker there in Fort Worth, Texas, and she's been arrested numerous occasions. Yeah, she had a couple of warrants out, traffic warrants. Oh, man, she just can't get her life together for some reason. But then again, she hangs out with the likes of uh, Cody Low Roller, Harvey Jailbird, and Manuel Always in Jail Mata. Yeah, so hanging out with that crew, hey, you're never going to be in good company. Right? So you let people go through the boots, and I had to take my boots off. So why can't you let me go through the headband? Where's the supervisor? Can't be kind, huh? You're letting people go through boots on, but I have to take my boots off. Come on, just be accommodating and kind. Why do you have to be so rude? Just be accommodating. Accommodating and kind. That should be the new words for you guys. Accommodating and kind. Instead of rude and obnoxious and that we're the enemies and you're not. That blue line's really strong with you guys. I'm not taking it off my head. They're not I don't like when frauditors try to predict the future because it never works out for them. Now this woman's in here screaming, I'm not going to take my hair down. Well, you're either going to take your hair down or you're not going to enter the building. Now, which is it going to be, sweetheart? Is door A or door B 
or door C, which is get out of the building. How can anybody else take their hair down and they're letting people through with boots on? Be accommodating, be accommodating and kind instead of ridding them noxious. No, I don't have to sit down. I don't have to sit down if I don't want to sit down. I chose to sit down, so I'm choosing not to right now. Sorry to interrupt so soon again, but why is it that frauditors never want to sit down? There was another frauditor like that. Let's roll that clip. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Well, you didn't let the last guy take his boots off. Accommodating and kind should be your words for the day. You knew I have court today. Look, they're letting people through with boots on. They're letting people through with ponytail holders on. And they're, they're just, can somebody want me? I have court today. Okay. Thank you. Is that good? You need to clear security. Right, but I'm not taking my hair down. Okay. Are you gonna make me take my hair down? Yes. Um, you can't okay, wear security without. I see people walking through with boots on. I see people walking through the, with their hair and hair stuff. Yeah. It would seem to me that if you have a court appearance, you would do everything you can to be there on time, or else we all know what's gonna happen. Another bench warrant would be issued for your arrest. But that's because I have common sense. That's why I say that. Frauditors have absolutely no common sense, not to mention common courtesy or common decency. Oh, dearie me. Yes, they are. No. Yes, they are. You can be stop. kind and accommodating, but you're not going to do that. So you're going to make We're me miss court. To. No, you're not. You can want me. That's what the wand is for. That's building. what the wand is for. That is exactly what the wand is for. No, the you're, says you, you, come on. You're not going to make me take I'm my hair down. You're not going to make me take my hair down. No, you're not going to argue with me. Go tell the judge why I'm not here. Go tell the judge why I'm not here. Go tell her right now. Court number two. Because you, yes, because you won't, because, because. You are making me, I'm not taking my hair down. You're not making any other person take it down. You're just making me take it down. If you cannot clerk security, you cannot come in. They're walking through with their ponytail holders in and stuff, but you're going to make me take all my hair down? No. They're not setting off the machine. I didn't even walk through yet. No. Something must have happened at this courthouse because I've never seen anybody take their boots off to be scanned outside the airport. And I've never heard of anybody being forced to take their hair down. I think they're just picking on this woman because she's such a troublemaker. But still, I've never seen a, uh, any place outside the airport that would re make you remove your shoes. I've never seen that. You can, you can leave. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. What's your name and badge number? What's your Captain name? Bobby Harden. Okay, Bobby Hill. Not Hill, Harden. Hill. You're dismissed. Go away. You're done. Go away. Go away. You're dismissed. Go. Take your shiny shoes and trot up the hallway. You're dismissed. Dismissed. Go. Leave. You're dismissed. Yeah, because they're signaling me out. They're letting other people go through and stuff. They can accommodate with a wand. You're dismissed. Go. Time to leave the building. You're leave dismissed. Building. You're dismissed. Clear your belt and belt buckle. Clear it. Clear security or leave the building. That's your option. Well, there you go, sweetheart. Clear security or leave the building. Now, what are you going to do? Because you have a court appearance. If you don't appear, we all know what's going to happen. So what are you going to do? You're going to call their bluff and say, Oh, ah, 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 ah. I don't have to do this because nobody else is doing it. Right. Let's see what happens. How come you're not making other people take their hair down? Okay. Right? Clear security or leave the building. Those are your options. I could have cleared security with a wand, but you're not a kind and accommodating. You're ugly. Oh, you think it's funny? Go home and beat your wife. I'm going to make a complaint on you. What's your name, Murray? I'm going to go make a complaint on you right now. And you too. And you too, big guy. Excuse me. Come on in. And you too. And you too, mister. Make my take... No one else has to take their hair down but me. So, okay. Woo, they picked the wrong girl to pick on today.
Well, now there you have it, folks. The frauditor would rather have a bench warrant issued for her arrest than comply with the rules and clear security. Oh, boy. Well, you know, in her case, it's not going to make any difference. It wouldn't be the first warrant out for her arrest. It won't be the last. So stay tuned. Maybe she'll have an arrest video posted shortly about how the tyrants unlawfully arrested the poor lass. Well, in the meantime, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.